Sometimes it worries me when I see a book being advertised as action-packed. When we're talking about books, the word action doesn't always mean sword fights and car chases. It can mean just a good hook and a fast pace. But sometimes it really does mean chases and explosions, and that's where we run into trouble. It's not that there's anything wrong with that kind of action, but it's not a core selling point for prose. Action is a stronger asset in visual mediums. Writing about battles doesn't work without characters and context. I keep meeting people who want to write 300 pages of shootouts, then don't understand why it comes out boring. A movie or a video game can actually get by on action alone. Style over substance can work, but on a page it's a lot harder to pull off. Even when there are a lot of shootouts, it's never about the shootouts. It's about who's getting shot, why it's happening, and how the reader feels about it. In a movie, if you bring in John Woo to do the action scenes, no matter how bad the script is, you can still end up with something worth watching. But in a book, no matter how great you are at crafting a sentence, that alone won't get it done. This doesn't just relate to how we write stories, it also has to do with how we present them. Suspense is a good characteristic to advertise. So is a fast pace. It's cool to market a book as being hard-hitting. Being action-packed is a selling point, but it should never be THE selling point. Action in a vacuum is meaningless. The people and circumstances that frame it are everything. Certain genres might want to draw attention to action to target certain audiences, but at the end of the day, action is to a book what milk is to a restaurant. It's nice if they offer it, but the rest of the menu is what ultimately determines if the restaurant succeeds or fails. A book is never great because it's action-packed. It's great because it tells a story that you want to read. The action might help, but it's probably not doing the heavy lifting. But action is a big word with a lot of meanings. Though it's used to talk about explosions, what it really means in literature is progression, forward movement. That's a combination of pacing and overall engagement. In that sense, action is essential and worthy of advertising. But thanks to the different ways that people interpret the word, meanings can be lost. Writers and marketers have different jobs. A film studio wants you to think a movie is great because it has a particular actor in it. That's all well and good, but it's the same story. The actor can go a long way, but the script and the director are the real determining factors. Yet it's usually not the screenwriter or the director that the trailers draw attention to. You wouldn't think that a writer in a bookstore would see the words action-packed on the cover of a successful book, then think to herself that she needs to come up with a few more explosions for her own work. But that's what I keep seeing. That's called losing the forest for the trees. It's fine for readers to be guided by marketers, but writers have to keep their eye on the ball. Marketers care about trends, and trends have a way of relating to gimmicks that come and go. The never-ending quest for any industry to keep up with its audience and try to stay hip and edgy has, for at least all of my life, been a reliable source of secondhand embarrassment. How do you do, fellow kids? What? That will never go away. Trust those sensibilities at your own risk. It's middle school basketball all over again. Sound fundamentals have a way of beating out gimmicks. Oh, that, was, that was epic. Yes, that was, was epic for the win. Yeah. They also age better. When someone calls me out for being too light on action in a book, maybe that means it needs more explosions, or maybe that means it failed to engage in some other way. The trick is trying to figure out which it is. <laughs>